In your health tonight, we shine a light on a disease that impacts tens of thousands of Minnesotans. June is Alzheimer's Awareness Month. And there's a huge advancement in the diagnosis of the disease that you need to be aware of. Tim Blotz has more on this encouraging news. Oh my, right? This is truly huge news, especially for all of us as we get older, because let's face it, too many of us are about to join these ranks. The Alzheimer's Association now estimates that we have 102,000 Minnesotans living with this disease. That's now one out of every 10 people over the age of 65 here in Minnesota. And within the past year, this has now jumped to the fourth leading cause of death here. And with new drugs coming onto the market, getting an early diagnosis has never been more important. But getting that diagnosis has never been easy either. But now, with a new test coming on board, it's about to change everything. Memory has never been my strong suit. Tim Sandry has lived an active life with his wife Ellen and their children. But around the time he turned 67, he knew something wasn't right. We both knew that there was an issue. He saw a neurologist who conducted memory tests and concluded he had what's called mild cognitive impairment. Wanting a definitive diagnosis, he then had a spinal tap. How invasive, how painful. In the morning, they, you know, took the spinal fluid. And then I had to stay very still for the rest of the day. And then they sent me home, and I had an awful headache for the next three days. It confirmed he had Alzheimer's. How much of a difference would have a blood test made? Oh, 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 so much difference. It's now a reality. The FDA has just approved a new diagnostic tool by the medtech company Fujirebio called LumaPulse. Mayo Clinic is among the first Alzheimer's centers getting this device. It takes a small sample of blood and measures the amyloid and tau proteins that may be present in the brain. And it, um, it generates the ratio between those two proteins and an elevated ratio then is indicative to the presence of those changes associated with Alzheimer's disease. How important is this new blood test? By having this blood test, we are able to diagnose more accurately and also more accessibly, you know, to individuals. Current clinical, cognitive, and imaging assessments can correctly diagnose Alzheimer's in 70 to 75 percent of patients. When you add now a blood biomarker, this, uh, this particular test, you increase the accuracy of that Alzheimer's disease diagnosis to 90, 95 percent. So really, it, it is a significant improvement in the diagnosis for patients, which now can have an earlier answer uh, for their symptoms. It makes it much quicker for, for those people to start treatment and to start uh, looking at what options there are, whether it's clinical trials or medication. In Tim's case, his early diagnosis allowed him to start taking one of the two FDA-approved drugs shown to slow the progression of the disease. And if it slows it enough, you know, I'm, you know, 69 years old. Well, you know, if I get another 10 years, that's great. Now, it's important to know that this new blood test is only for those who are already experiencing cognitive decline, but it's still huge. And Mayo Clinic says that once they start ramping up, they'll be able to test between 1,000 to 5,000 patients a month. Now, if you're experiencing some memory loss, it's always important to talk to your doctor about it. And if you still have some questions, the Alzheimer's Association is always there to help. Guys? This is so encouraging. It and is, and really important, because yeah. as Tim points out, the number of just in Minnesota, more than 100,000 people who currently are diagnosed with yeah. Alzheimer's. And in all those research dollars that come mm -hmm. from fundraising, mm -hmm. so every time you hear of a gala or something like that, and you think it's the millions of dollars in fundraising that goes into a lot of this research. And the mail. We're lucky to have the mail right, right here. Right mm -hmm. in our backyard. Coming up, 